welcome to a new video. It's been a long time since I've posted on YouTube, nearly a year in fact, so I thought it was about time that I posted something for you all. I wanted to share with you today a high speed version of one of my art lab lessons and I thought it would be appropriate to share the January spread seeing as we are now into the new year. I started up the art lab back in April, I think it was. I was feeling the need to have monthly goals to work towards as we all have since the start of last year's crazy year. I wanted to provide a reason for my students to have to show up and create art every month. And it also provides me with a reason to show up and make art every month because this year has been absolutely crazy and it, it's really good to have a goal to work towards and something to keep us occupied. The Art Lab Association, in case you haven't heard of it, is a monthly watercolour and gouache class and it's over on my online school, Lucy's Art Lab. You can find it at lucysartlab.com. Each month I share about three or four lessons with you. Some are on the easier side and some are more in depth and complex, but all of them will help you to improve on your watercolor and gouache skills. There's a sneak peek at some more of the lessons at the end of this video, so be sure to watch till then. So in this lesson, we were looking at one method of creating a funky background for our watercolors which is using cling film, which I think, I believe in the U United States is called Saran Wrap. And you can use this to create texture. And then we worked in with a fine detail brush on top to paint these delicate snowflake patterns. Did you know that there are no two snowflakes alike? They're all as unique as our fingerprints are. I think that's pretty amazing. They're so beautiful when you see them in those micro photographies. So here we do wet on wet washes and then glaze on top as finer details. And also we were exploring lettering done with the paintbrush. So we were just touching on that. There was another lesson earlier on in the year that we did some hand lettering too and it's super relaxing to do and I want to do some more of it. One thing that I want you to learn if you join the art lab is that every painting does not have to be fully formed, finished and complete or even successful. You can learn the skills of watercolour bit by bit, kind of a bit like a puzzle that you can piece together to make larger, more in-depth paintings once you've built up your skills. And those building blocks of painting. In some of my lessons, we paint elements or part of a painting that can look nice as a study in their own right, but could also be used to add into larger paintings further down the line once you've gotten more experienced. Watercolour can be quite a daunting subject and medium to paint with. It's not easy to just cover up any mistakes like you can with acrylic. Once it's on the paper, it's pretty much there. And sometimes you have to work fast before the paint dries or plan out beforehand what is going to go where and in what order. And you also have to learn a little bit of patience if you want your colours to successfully glaze on top or know how much water to add to get the correct effect. And all of this sounds quite daunting but it really shouldn't be because the fear of not getting things done correctly or achieving well is what puts a lot of people off from starting things and I would include myself in this which is why it's taken me so long to post another YouTube video. Although it's partly because I've been busy with other things, it's also because I tend to put things off if I start to overthink how to create them. And I wanted perfection and it just isn't there or it doesn't need to be. Making YouTube videos is a lot like painting a watercolor painting. You just need to make a start, even if it isn't perfect. And that stepping stone will build until it's better than the last one that you painted, or in this case, filmed, till eventually you have the skills that you can apply. That's not to say that it isn't worth persevering with things. If you want to get better in your painting, 
then I would say that not giving up at the first hurdle is definitely a skill that you want to nourish. Learning to continue on with a painting because all paintings have this kind of weird, ugly stage where it doesn't quite look right and if you give up at that stage you'll never get past that stage and discover that actually once you're over that hurdle that's when your painting starts to come to life. So for this snowflake one here if I just stuck at painting the colourful snowflakes then it wouldn't have looked as complete as when I started to then add in the white of the it's Dr Martin's bleed proof white that I use here and all the white snowflakes and the white little highlights and snowy bits and all the little extra bits that I start to put into those snowflakes that you'll see start to appear in this video and it's all those extra tiny little bits that really do finish off a painting and I think it's just by taking lessons or looking at how other people complete their paintings and learning how to push on past that weird ugly stage and just get to the point where it's finished it's quite a hard thing to know when to properly finish so I'm hoping that I can help you a little bit with that in the lessons and I hope that you might think to join me uh, if not then feel free to just watch these YouTube ones because they're just a quick version of what I give you in the completed lessons over on the art lab. So next month we're going to be doing a February spread which I still haven't quite decided what theme I'm going to have but it's going to be something to do with February. Maybe you could make suggestions to me in the comments below for the kinds of things that I could put in a February spread so any flora or fauna that's connected with the month of February. I suppose it could just be a Valentine's themed but maybe something more along the lines of plants or animals. Let me know what you think and you're now going to see a little preview of some of the other lessons that I've got in the previous month's art lab which if you do join you get access to all of those previous lessons. <laughs> start off with some super easy lessons where you learn just the basics like painting these leaves that I'm showing you here and different ways to use your brush and different ways to drop in paints and create different kinds of effects and we also touch on starting off in gouache and how to paint layers up in gouache, starting with the super cute and easy little mini paintings like you can see here with this little rabbit. And I've also got a fox in that lesson as well. And then from there, we move on to slightly more complicated ones. This was actually my first ever lesson, which is the mushrooms. And then we do faces as well where we're going to do more in-depth faces, more complex compositions that require a little bit more planning but also teach you a bunch of skills and finished proper compositions and I take you through all the steps. These videos of course here are sped up but in the classroom they are proper time so you can watch them in proper time and get full tuition. So I hope that you will join me at lucysartlab.com for the Art Lab Association and I shall see you in the next video.